We are starting here. Okay. What time is it, Noel? It is 5.42 a.m. And we're about to start the Outer Mountain Loop in a single day. And hopefully finish it in a single day as well. So, um, we're gonna hit the stopwatch. Bam. 5.43. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. We just made it to the top of the first pass. How was the climb? Dude, it was actually still really beautiful, even though there was no sun. You could see everything in the moonlight. All the lights got like smaller in the basin. And now we're up here and the sun is coming up. It's gonna be spectacular. We're starting to get a little sunrise action over there. Yeah. Yeet. Or be yeeted. Yeet or be yeeted. The first rays of sun. Okay. We're having we're having some technical difficulties. Um, because Harry's water bottle cap seems to have fallen off his. It's on. It's water bottle. It's on, really. No. Because. But I think it is. Got a little, a little, a little drippage. Stay tuned for this episode of Frostbitten at Big Bend. Wet and confused. <laughs> and sticky. <laughs> <laughs> Update, we found out that there's a crack in his water bottle. It's on the bottom though. And it's it's a little drippy. I'm just gonna put it in my bag upside down. I think it'll work. So hopefully the cap doesn't fall off. <sighs> but that baby's gonna drain in a second. I just can't jump. <laughs> no, Alright, no more jumping. Yeah. Alright. Case closed. So we've just come out of the Chisos Mountains, which you can see behind me. And now we are in a really, really flat part, which is nice for getting miles in. It's really easy on the knees and you can just kind of cruise. So we have this for a while. This is probably the majority of our mileage. And then we'll head back up into the Chisos again to finish a little later. So it's time to shed the puffy and reveal my hiking outfit for the day. Let's see it. Oh, fabulous. Pour one out for my homie. Which one? Ryan, Damn. last time we did this. <laughs> Ryan died a hard death, like several times, and you gotta pay your respects, man. All right. <laughs> this thing needs to get out of here. Look at my legs. Those are some they're, wet legs. They're so red, and they teem. Oh, that is red. So badly, because it was so cold. <laughs> <laughs> but we're out here. Also, this is my outfit. We started here and followed this, 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 boom, all the way around and are now here and we have to go there and then all the way back to there. So, we're here, about 12 miles in. <laughs> now we're gonna stop for a little snack, and then keep on keeping on. I think we're probably at mile 
16, 17. Yeah, 16, 17. So, over halfway, theoretically. Oh. Yes! So made it to the top of a little saddle. Let's go. I was actually a leg burner, man. Yeah. I feel it. I feel it in my legs. But it feels good. It hurts so good. I agree. It's so good. And then, as Harry said, our water is right over yonder. Over there. This is where we're gonna stop for like a good little lunch break and refill our water. And we get to do it all in the comfort of a fairly nice, well-kept up ranch house. McLovin's Hideout, man. McLovin's, we're gonna start a petition to change the name from Homer's Ranch to McLovin's Hideout. So, if this is a cause you feel like you can get behind, sign here and we will together make a change. This is, this is the house. Okay, so when we were here the first time, we hit a little, a little something something. Now it's time to see if they're still there. And they're cold. Oh they're yeah. Cold. Woo How's lunch treating you? We ate some fish with Harry tried a sardine for the first time. <laughs> it was better than I expected, but there were still my ones in it. <laughs> <laughs> we just finished lunch at the cabin, and now we're starting our last, what we think is nine more miles. But I gotta say, I'm feeling a little sore. It's feel, I'm feeling it a lot more on this side of lunch. <laughs> You sit down for a minute and then the soreness just sets in, like the plague. So, it's good to keep moving. And then, in a few miles it'll be back to normal. But we got a little, little climb ahead of us as we head out of this valley, so. We'll see how it goes. Here he is, bravely leading the way. Okay, so we just finished a massive climb that went on for about five and a half miles, which is pretty good, especially right after lunch. Belly's full, a little tired, and then boom, boom to boom, slapped with the climb. But we are now over the climb, over the saddle, and we can see our final destination right. <laughs> Not that final destination. Right down there. Back where we started. Harry is stoked. Yeah. Look My at him. legs are getting ready to fall off. This is it. There we go. 12 hours, 35 minutes. Feels pretty good. Yeah, in, in many senses. So, it also feels bad in other senses, but mostly good. It was good, and now it is time for the hot spring. And tacos. Car, sweet car. I've been thinking about this guy for a minute right here. So after finishing, I feel really good. Uh, doing the Outer Mountain Loop in one day has been a goal of mine for coming up on two years now. 
And it's hard to find someone crazy enough to do it with, so I was glad Harry did it. And it was a lot of fun, very positive throughout. It's just challenging enough to, to push the limits. Enjoy that seat right there. Yeah! Ow. That feels good. It feels really good. It's the little things. <laughs>